Hey everyone, uh, I had some free time today, so I thought I would make a video um, showing you a couple of my robes that I've made to wear in ritual. And since that one is coming up, I am wearing my black one now, which I'll give you a full view of. It's really flowy, it took a lot of fabric to make this. And the sleeves, I cut slits in them and added lace to the edge, so I could flip it over and it would be like that. Or if I need it out of the way, then I can have my hands free to work, so. And now I will show you my white one, which I just finished a couple days ago. And now I'm wearing my white one, which is pretty much the same. Sleeves do the same thing. Use the same pattern. And along the bottom hem there's also lace. It's like that on my black one too. So, these are my two good robes. The ones that I think I've made the best, and that's probably because I found a really good pattern. A lot of my other robes, I would just lay down like a like a t-shirt and it, or a, another dress that I had and like cut around it. So a lot of those don't fit very well, and I like these a lot better because they're a lot more flowy, although it costs a lot more because you have to get a lot more fabric. I think I had to get 13 yards of fabric for this one alone. And I had to get about 11 yards of lace to line the whole thing, but that was pretty cheap because it was like 99 cents per yard, so that wasn't a big deal. But the fabric, thank god I got it on sale. Because regularly I think it was 6 or 7 dollars a yard, but I got it for like 4 dollars a yard. So that was good. And I just have bad luck with making white robes. Because I've made like three of them before this one. And none of them fit good. Like the the black one I have fits great. It fits perfect. But with white ones, I don't know, it's always too tight around this area, the armpit area. Even this one is kind of tight, but it's not as bad as my other ones. But I don't get what the bad luck is with making white robes. But this one's good. It, it's not uncomfortable. It's a tad tight, but not really bad. And the purpose of wearing robes in Ritual is to wear clothing that is not imbued with energy from our daily lives. Um, when you wear them in Ritual, it imbues them instead with magical energy. So then you can, when you don Ritual garb, it puts you in a more magical state of mind, you know, because it has the essence of magic in it. So, that's why I wear robes, that's why a lot of people wear them. Um, you don't have to wear robes, you can just set aside some regular clothes to work with. You can, you know, go sky clad. Um, you know, whatever you want, there's no, like, restrictions, but I think robes are fun to have. It'll be so magical. So, I enjoy wearing them, especially these ones. So glad I found that pattern. And I'll post the pattern I used in the sidebar if any of you like to sew and would like to use the same pattern. Um, I don't have a cape yet, or a cloak. I was kind of thinking of making one since it's getting cold out, but I don't have the money right now. And I would need a lot of fabric for that, because I would need to line the sleeves and like the whole thing. And I think I'd like to use fleece for that since it's really warm. So that would be a lot of money. So don't know when I'll get around to making that, but as far as I have black and white robe, and for now, that's good. I also have a blue one that I'm working on embroidering, which I haven't worked on in like a couple months actually, I don't even know where it is. But it's my first time embroidering, so it doesn't look that great. It doesn't look really bad either, but you know. And I would also like to have a purple one. 
with, with this pattern, the purple robe. So I'll have to work on that later. But anyways, thank you for watching and blessed be.